Got him. One down. Headshot. Headshot. Oh my goodness. Ooh, the other things come up here. Oh, your biscuit. Oh, missed him. He's good at dodging. He's not very good at shooting. Missed him. Ow. Got him. Headshot. Oh, you can shoot the bubbles. But that's wasting my ammo. Peekaboo. <laughs> Peekaboo, look at that. It was like right out of a movie. <laughs> Greetings, adventurers. It is I, Liz Grumblaze, and welcome back to Viva Las Vegas Story. Uh, where last we met, we had set up in our first episode uh, basic hub and operations, uh, initial uh, production, our warehouse, because uh, we're going to be, uh, let's say, mimicking a uh, desert scenario like Vegas, where like nothing there but death and heat. And, uh, yeah, we've got to ship everything in. So we've got our little uh, power station up and running. Uh, I've done a little bit more research in the man for some bits and bobs that I had around the place. Uh, I've scouted out a couple of little areas, but not, too, not, not really built anything up. No other factories or anything like that. Uh, with one exception, we are going to need coal power. Because as much as it's fun to run around with a chainsaw and fight the hogs all day in the forest... Uh, it wears a little thin after a while, so we need to progress to phase two because it's the only way to unlock the coal. Um, so, um, I thought, well, let's set up uh, an assembly line factory. That won't take too long, will it? <sighs> yeah. yeah. About that. Let's go and have a look, shall we? It's not turned on yet. I've left it today with a power cable missing. So we can turn it on in episode two. And uh, also, don't worry about what that is over there. Uh, yeah, do some experimentation with some uh, <laughs> with some circles. Uh, okay, so uh, one of the things I did is I went and got my legs. Unlocked the Blade Runners because we bumped into a whole bunch of quartz. And uh, yeah, they're, they're just, they make such a big difference of running and jumping around uh, and whatnot. Uh, I also unlocked the rebar gun because we've been killing a lot of hogs and spitters, so uh, why not? Uh, and I went off on a little merry adventure to find some quartz, which I did over there somewhere. I also found a normal coal vein, so it's going to be fascinating to see whether we can use that for steel production or uh, if we can even get coal power. I'd really, really like to get coal power up and running, um, just so that power is then no longer a big issue until we need to expand. Um, which we can then do at our leisure, rather than having to run around getting all the biomass. As I said, up there is highlighted a Caterium node that I found. It's actually pure. Um, however, it is way up there and we can't really get it. We don't have a parachute. We don't have a jetpack. Uh, fiddly. So we could build our way up there, but, you know, it's all full of dangerous things. And I didn't want to do too much beyond a little bit of scouting the area. Um, oh, and here's another thing we unlocked. What could possibly go wrong? Let's go to the warehouse. Okay, so we've got fast rolled over to the warehouse, kind of, sort of. Um, but we have to take a few bumps and bruises to get there. Um, I've unlocked concrete walls and concrete foundations, because so far in the game, they're my favourites. Although, uh, Tiger and I, we've had a little look at um, the Caterium. We had a cheeky little look in another play with the Caterium uh, finish. Gold looks amazing on vehicles, <laughs> that's what I'll say. Um, and uh, Tiger showed me the uh, one of the metallic finishes. Looks amazing as well. But we ain't got the tickets for that. So we do have our ticket station and everything set up here. I've got a couple of things duplicated now. So I've got a little working area down here. Because oftentimes if I'm up there, you know, it's not really a big downside as it were. But having everything in the, uh, in the warehouse down here in intake means, yeah, you guessed it. If I'm up the top trying to do some mam stuff and I'm like, oh, I need this or I'm unlocking the next hob thing. Um, and it's all tucked away down here. Yeah, I've got to do a lot of back and forth. But anyway, uh, we've also got uh, the mighty blue-eyed Quacken now. So I've given Ducky a blue eye. So Gamel, Farber, you've got a lot of a lot of things to answer for. Um, but let's go and turn our new factory on for the assembly line, and then we can just leave that ticking over. Hopefully, we've got enough power for that. 
I think we've got enough uh, headroom. Um, but I'll show you what I set up. And I was like, I'm not going to stay on too late. I'm not going to do lots and lots. We're just going to scout around. And then I thought, well, an assembly line. You know, everyone's seen that set up. So we don't have to show you the boring bits. Um, yeah. Then it turned into a bit of a build-a-thon. Now, I still don't have all the bits and bobs unlocked to make this sort of pretty. Uh, we do have a KV cave down here full of dangerous hogs. And there's a sphere in there and everything. So we'll save that for... Uh, for our recordings for our episodes um but yeah so i've set up basically three additional smelters i found a pure iron vein would you adam and eve it i found an, a pure iron vein just there so i was like wait so i've been dealing with this normal and the slow plate production and then hey but anyway we got so we've got a whole additional factory here we're gonna go with modular factories i guess over this um and uh, well it's gonna basically become a big city that's that's well I, that's the idea that's the vision um so i've set this up um it's a little bit ugly in places but i've done what i can with the pieces i had and with my limited uh, design skills uh, i'll put some lighting up in here with signs we've got the signs unlocked as well uh we're feeding some stuff up here so we've got plates rods more rods and then rods into screws and then I'll show the upstairs. We have to go out and back up. And there's going to be this big hole in the wall there because I'm thinking of having vehicle access in there. I'm thinking about tractors. I tried, well, actually succeeded in unlocking the Explorer vehicle because I thought, oh, this will be great for the video. And then, unfortunately, I then realized that you got to unlock a whole lot of funky stuff like motors and things. And we can't produce any of it, so we can't even make it. We're unlocked. And can't make it anyway uh there we go so we've got iron plates rods uh, and screws coming up here and then this is all fed into various exciting funky belt systems into one two assemblers uh and then they feed in turn into this one which is going to make us our smart plating if i selected the recipe um i wasn't tired uh so reinforced iron plate in that one uh rotors in that one and off we go now i haven't set up additional storage and all that kind of thing we're just going to focus on getting to the next phase um because again we're not we're not going to be really focused heavily on progression but progression where we need it so i'm doing this just to essentially unlock the next thing i also picked up the uh the space ele uh, elevator and put it on uh its own platform so that it could kind of look a bit funky so Let's see the moment of truth. I have no idea. I've kind of, I'm, I feel like I might have over egged it. It's certainly not built with load balancing or efficiency in mind. It's just built with basically what can I set in? What can I fit inside this big building I made? Does it need to be bigger? Probably. Does it need to have more of these things in various lines? Probably. Could it benefit from having split out storage and storing stuff off of it? Probably. But we've got a warehouse over there, so eventually. We're going to work out a way to bring various things to the warehouse to go into the sink. Or we'll just add another sink up, up top. Probably do that. Um, right. Without further ado, though, let's turn this on. I'm excited. This could bur blow out our power. I hope not. I've still only got the six burners. Oh, it might not, it might not be enough. Let's see, shall we? Ready and action. Go. Right, I suppose we have to go inside to see. Oh, that's moving along, so that something's turned on. Look at this. Smelting a go go into the manufacturers, which I didn't connect up with the power poles. Okay, let's check the powers just with the smelters. 45. Wait, where's the capacity? Is this not. This is. This is connected. Oh, this one's not. Okay, hang on. Right, boop. Right, now. 180 177 oh snap we don't have enough power for all the assemblers i've all, i've only gone and overdone it with the smelters oh no how do they take up so all that slack oh no I'm, it's gonna blow the fuse all right well all the more reason that we need to get to uh so where we're we going okay let's 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 see shall we let's chuck on let's get the iron plates going uh, let's 
see. Can you take another one? You can take one more. Oh, is that clipping through that machine? That Yeah, that would be horrible. Okay, so actually what we need to do... Oh, that's horrible too. Let's take that away. So we need some more of these poles at each stop. Let's put it there. Uh, and there. And there. And then we're going to need another one up here. So you go to you, you go to you, you feed that one, you feed that one. Oh, the power is going to go out any moment now. You go in there, you're connected to that. Oh, jeez, Louise. Eh? Okay. All right. Now, it is possible that everything upstairs... Well, no, everything couldn't have been on because these weren't connected. Oh, actually, I might have been reading the wrong numbers. So max consumption does go to 193, so that would bust it. But consumption is typically around 90. So, oh, snap. I think we're in trouble as these things start to uh, churn through. So what we could do is turn our assemblers off for a bit. Or at least one of them. And just store some stuff up and have it ready to go. So let's see. So they'll fed the power lines off, but not that super neatly here. But don't ignore that cable. There's nothing to see there. So this one's waiting on some script. Okay, so it's going to take a while to, to for everything to crunch through the system because they've been switched off, so they haven't been receiving goods. Okay, I think there's going to be too few screws coming up here because he's swallowing 100 a minute and he's taking 60 a minute and there's no way we're producing 160. But my thinking was as well that I could overclock the things downstairs, you know? So it'll be fine. And then he's going to make the smart plating. Okay. So what I was hoping is that we could go in episode 2, go adventuring and just leave this happily chugging away making the stuffs and things, including all the way into the space elevator. But it looks like I might need to add some more power on in order to achieve that goal. In order to, to not go away and five minutes later have it go... Bzz. Oh, we've got no switches or nothing yet. Okay, never mind. That priority switch is a long way away. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? So I'm going to build with circles over there, do some, some playing about. And then what I want to do is a big... So I've got practice with the circles. I've not done that or curved roads or anything like that before. But I've watched a couple of videos, so I get the gist of it. Uh, so we're going to try to uh, build out that way. Now, there's a dead tree over there. So I'm tempted. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Where's the map? So I'm tempted to go out that way. Uh, I don't know my space elevator is green now. Uh, I'm tempted to go out that way uh, because we've got to find mycelium. Because I really, really enjoy having the elevator. And if we're going to go start going up heights like that, it's going to get crazy. Um, we could go and do a crystal run. There's a Steve over there as well. I've just seen him. Let's start by getting Steve, shall we? How's the pockets? They're all right. I've expanded them out a little bit. Now, I have excitedly, excitingly, I have found... There's the coal I was talking about. Um, I have found... Um, my first crash site. There's one up there on that rock over there, but it's guarded by a really, really big dog. So we might have to give this bad boy its first operational test. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Already? Where are you? Got him! One down. Headshot. Headshot. Oh my goodness. Ooh! The other things come up here. Oh, you biscuit. Oh, missed him. He's good at dodging. He's not very good at shooting. Missed him. Ow. Got him. Headshot. Oh, you can shoot the bubbles. But that's wasting my ammo. Peekaboo. <laughs> Peekaboo, look at that. It was like right out of a movie. Oh, 
And look, <gasps> another crash site and a, and a slooper trooper. Let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go, summer sloop. The effigy has no song, only echoes, but it is part of a river. Why does the effigy avoid the windows? Attention, your brain's operations are outside typical parameters. Time spent daydreaming will be deducted from your sustenance budget. Okay, there's bound to be another badger here. But, I spot with my little eye, a load of cool stuff that we want. Uh, let's go. <laughs> oh, it's not on zoot mode, okay. Boom, there we go. First step. Yes, load of rotors, beautiful. <gasps> 265 copper sheets as well. Nice. Wait, where is the danger around here? Normally there'd be some danger, wouldn't there? Oh, in case it beams. Yes. Oh, that's great. That's, that could be some more research on locks. I don't know if that's enough. Let's risk it for the biscuit. More rotors, yes. I've got so many rotors. Oh! Okay, we're fine. Don't worry about it. And more steel pipes. Oh, I needed some of those for another unlock. Can't remember what it was now. Okay. Back up uh back up a ways, I guess. Don't. No more uh no more loot around here. No, I think we got it all. Okay. Uh, I want to say as well, I'm only just uh, uploaded the first video episode today on the day of recording this second one. Um, and, or at least some footage. I don't know if this will be a full episode's worth. Uh, but very, very kindly, some, some people have already uh, commented and said they're looking forward to it. So thank you very much for that. That means the world to me. I'm here, you know, just trying to entertain, do my thing. So we've got to put a marker down. What is that? Medic medicinal inhaler. Oh wow, cool! Never had one of those before. Okay, so yeah, thank you very much. Please do you know give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to encourage me to make more uh, of this nonsense. I'd really really appreciate it. Right, let's go. Is there a hard drive uh, stamp? Not really. So we'll just go with this boxy box. So hard drive. Uh, oh, how many was it? Oh, I can't remember. 50 times steel beams. Okay, I actually can't remember. Subcategory, hard drives. Put a medium marker on that. Let's go and have another look. We can correct that number if we need to. No, don't jump so far. Oh, legs. Oh, legs. It was 20. Okay, got it. So it was 20. Oh, I can't type. Here we go. All right. Well, we'll leave that. We'll leave these here because we obviously need to get there. There's a little birdie there. <gasps> Maybe we find a doggo down here in this little... So this is like a little oasis in the desert. Um, but what I really need to find is something that's got my sealer. Look, so there's these uh, here, but you can't get them. So we're going to have to see if with the chainsaw... I'm going to swap that out. Keep my rebar gone handy that's just wooden leaves ah oh, maybe those funky looking things there why do i can hear some sounds like it might be dangerous there's a lot of poison plants down here right we've got steve come on steve no nope, don't chainsaw steve can i really not reach him oh my god uh okay Give myself a little boost. Hello? That wasn't enough of a boost? <laughs> Look how much I've had to do to get to that one slug. Oh, there's another crash site there. Another hard drive. Okay, maybe this is an easier one this time. Hmm. So this is like swampy land. It's uh, it's kind of funky. It's kind of weird. Kind of spooky. 
Uh oh, someone can see me that I can't see it. Oh, it's a spitter. Alright, you badger. Oh no, big hog as well. No. Okay, I got that one. Oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? Oh, jump just in time. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh my god, what a kill that was. Holy cow. What a kill. Where's... Okay. Let's not have a repeat of episode one. Where's this bits? Don't know where the bits went. Oh. Okay. Really? I just want to see if I can get to some of these plants and see what they offer me. We're going to be wood. No mycelia. Okay. Check that we're reloaded. There's coal. This is this is really cool. I've never been uh, in in this kind of a area. How many berries? We've got some berries in case we run into a dog. Caterium. Okay, I'll take this. Uh, H. So E. Nice. We don't have a source, a regular source of that yet, so finding a little bit here and there is dab handy. Now, can I get this plant? No, because I'm swimming. What if I put a foundation like that and then chainsaw it? Yes! The fruit of this fungus-like flora does not seem to show much potential for use. However, its mycelial network is worth further investigation. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential yes. application. Oh my god, so we're going to need to get about a couple hundred of this, I think. So we can try and unlock... Uh... Well, that actually gave me silica, all sorts of stuff going on there. Let's get rid of that limestone, don't need that. I need all the mycelia. Beautiful. I'll have some fuel because I'm sure that the fuel thing's going to pop as well. I got too many things in my pockets. Oh. If you if you know me and my my gaming, having too much stuff in my pockets is like it's a constant. Oh, badgers. Oh, this rebar gun is brilliant. That's perfect. Got him. I think. Nearly. Got him. Let's flipping go. You're mine. Two summer sloops already. Wow. Uh oh. That doesn't sound healthy for me. Ow. Oh, you badger. Oh, you're a big one. Okay. All right. Okay, buddy. We need to talk about this. Your stubbornness. Have it. Well, there you go. It's not my fault you got stuck on that rock, and that's what put you in a in a bad mood. And then I'm going to slap, slap a mam down quickly. And I'm going to see... Uh, what was it? It was... Power so Oh, I could actually research that right now. Oh, 24. Okay, we found the rollers. Let's do it for free. Brilliant. Okay, now the yellows can be converted. And I think we've got purples back home. Research completed. Can't remember. Yellow power them. slugs are further into their life cycle than blue power slugs, and thus have more potential energy stored. Let's go. They can now be processed into power okay. shards. Oopsie. I always jump, because I think pressing space is going to trigger the research, but it doesn't. Okay, analysis complete. Okay, oh, it's the biomass the that we need. The networks of these fungi so now we have possess fabrics. unusually resilient hyphae, and then we which need show ten potential for making a strong but lightweight natural fabric. Let's Additionally, go. it has similar medicinal and pest control applications to mycelia on Earth. Okay, was that enough? Research completed. Fabric recipe unlocked. Yes. New mycelia research available. Yes! Parachutes. 
Parachute unlocked. Oh. Fix it appreciates your willingness to descend rapidly to perform your duties, but damaging <laughs> Fix it property is a breach of contract and will have unpleasant consequences. Improve descent efficiency by okay, combining so the forces I need to of gravity and drag with a parachute. No, I need to have 50 Caterium. Okay, we, that's what we haven't got yet. All right, we don't have, we haven't found any of that, Sam. So that's fine. So we're not into that yet. Uh, and all right, I think that's everything we can research. These blooming hogs have got me on edge. However. Oh, actually, I might have needed that. Let's have a look. Can I? Can I? Even while we're out here in the swamp, what do I need for the parachute? I need <laughs> 10 more fabric. I knew it. Okay, come on. Please have enough of my seaweed for this. This would be great. Uh, yes. Oh, I can hear it. Something. I hope that's a bird. I hope that's a bird. Parachute. Oh, it's just 20, not 10. Oh my goodness, we're so close. Just enough. Oh, yes. Yes, parachute. Oh my God, we actually got it in episode two. Wow. Oh, everything is now well in the world again. Oh. The glory of the parachute. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, look at this. There's a cave. Oh, I've never seen this before. This is amazing. Okay. Uh, cave entrance. Stamps. Uh, cavey cave. Boom. Cave needs explosives. Boom. Caves. Boom. All right, cool. That's awesome. Let's have a look what's over here. Oh, you're a big fella. Not gonna fight that one. No, no. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there any Caterium nearby? Because we got a little bit. And if there did happen to be some here that was more accessible. 430 meters this way, let's try. Oh, oh, what are those? I've not seen that before. Do you know? Can we get back? I think we can get back up here. Let's, uh, let's go investigate. It looks like we can get back up that way. That's good. Okay. Oh man, having the parachute is so good. I wonder if these plants, I'm sure they're friendly. Okay, you can press C to, uh, this is pure as well, <gasps> pure criterion. You can press C to, uh, close the parachute on your way down and then press space to open it up again in case you want to fall a bit faster. So this is, uh, criterion pure. Wow. Resource. Boom. I'll need a farm marker, I guess. Awesome. So we've got quartz normal, cold normal, criterion pure, another criterion pure down here um let's just grab some while we're out while we're out and about couple of little portable miners worth and uh yeah what are these plants all about can i uh can i chainsaw them oh i can what do they give oh they give mycelia as well there you go and what are these things here Gives mycelia. Oh no, that was probably from that tree. And this one. Okay, you're one of those under the ground. Okay, are we going to come back with a bunch of extra mycelia? In the case we need any fabric research, I don't know. This is cool. What a cool little area. Oh, imagine having a base tucked away down here. Boy, then you'd really be on the end of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's neat. More new stuff's discovered. Oh, it's a massive waterfall there. Oh my God. 
Oh, so good, so good. Okay, a little bit of exploring excitement. Look at that, you're already full. Beautiful. We'll sacrifice some more, we'll sacrifice some copper sheets. We're gonna get this globe. Beautiful. We'll take some more meat back with us. All right, let's go home. I'm a leaf on the wind. Too soon? Maybe, eh? Let's widen this view out a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful. This soon. We're going to be populating this desert with some great buildings and stuff. Oh, look, there's another Sloopy Doop. Amazing. Oh, I love what you can see from the air. Uh, but also there's this oh, oasis marshy thing here. Temples, our veins nearly touch. It is shy. Notes shall be taken and played. From a certain perspective, your brain looks like it is processing language, but there is no auditory data. If you are hearing voices that are not mine, this is no cause for concern. It is a common side effect of extreme pressure and stress. Uh-huh. Parachuting in. Got him. I killed that one by shooting it in the butt. I feel kind of mean. And that one as well. Oh my god. Thanks for that. Sorry. Badgers. Okay. Not enough space for power slog. Drop some leaves. Okay. So power's been out all this time as well. So the next step. The next task is going to be adding some more power to the centipede millipede thing. Oh, Caterium. That's lucky. <laughs> it keeps repeating this theme from episode to episode. Brilliant. Oh, we got the parachute. It's so good. Look at that. We can even skim up the dune and then keep going because for some reason when you hit an upward slope of the parachute, it keeps, it keeps you parachuting. Amazing. Okay, so let's see. Moment of truth. I think it tripped out because of the power, uh, not enough power. <laughs> Let's see, actually, if we pull the lever. Oh no, I think we might be out of juice. Oh, amazing. All right, I'm going to uh, fix up the power. We'll just add on two more legs to the center bead. That should get us going for a bit. And then we'll see if we can get this emblem working. Alrighty, very important short update. I have uh, seemingly resolved the issue of the backlog down at the power plant uh, by upgrading to Mark II conveyor belts for most of the system from this point onwards where it's spitting out the solid fuel. I haven't done any maths and whatnot, uh, as is my way, uh, but I have just upgraded all those belts, not the lifters, funnily enough, so there's still a bit of a slow part there. Uh, but yeah, the other thing, very excitedly why I'm giving this update, is because everything is green, or at least yellow flashy kind of thing for efficiency, uh, over at the other factory. So it means that everything that we have is currently running. Uh, and now that we've got our parachute, uh, we're going to take a parachute ride over to the other factory and I because I just noticed that it's totally blew me away that this actually worked first try without calculating anything just like hit and hope uh that apparently our six biomass uh, fuel burners are sufficient and this factory is fully armed and fully operational and we've produced 21 of the 50 items already for the spa plating for the phase uh, in the complete phase one which just blows my mind away considering again that none of this was done really it was done mainly for aesthetic reasons even though it's ugly as sin you know we, we're working with the limited uh elements of the game that we got so far plus you know the amount of time it takes and whatnot uh yeah so apparently this bad boy has been chucking out uh, a bunch of plates. We could shove a hundred rotors straight in there and kickstart the whole thing, but I don't know what that's going to do to my power. I think we're on the cusp. I think we're on the cusp with the power. I'm going to chuck. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit and I'm going to chuck 
a whole load of stuff in here. I'm going to top that up. Keep that going. And then let's have a look at the rotor production. Okay, and uh, same again. I'm going to chuck that in. That's all right. So iron rods is fine. We've got more than enough rods. So really the, the slow, the, the bottleneck here is the screws because it's 100 a minute. So that's fine. But I kind of expected that. The idea with this was that it can just keep chugging away in the background. And if it takes its sweet time, it takes its sweet time. But yeah, look at this. Amazing. So the good thing is here, it's actually stacking up reinforced plates. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to chuck this in. 100 rotors. Wow. Because we've got no more milestones or anything we can unlock. We have to move to the next phase. So, yeah, don't really have another use for them immediately. Um, apart from maybe tidying this all up or adding in some more components. But yeah, there we go. I didn't overclock it because these things take 15 megawatts each. Oh my god, am I, is this going to be the point where we chip? No, look, current consumption, 130. Capacity 180. I don't know how we got to max consumption 193. I don't know uh, uh, yeah, how you uh, how you check that out. But all of these, so yeah, all these are, are chonking away now. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. 23 of 50. We'll have that done in no time. Oh, in as much time as it takes me to edit a video. <laughs> All right. Good vibes, folks. Let's go. Onwards. Onwards. We can start mapping out our next building project. I'm going to do something with circles over there. All right. See you in the next one, folks. Good vibes.